In this video, you see how to install Microsoft Flight Simulator after you've purchased it via flightsimwebshop.com. Directly after we've processed your payment, a license key will become available as shown here. Select this key and copy it for use later, so you won't make any errors when asked to enter it. Next is to open the Microsoft Store app. You can open the Microsoft Store app via the Windows Start menu. First thing to check is if you're signed in into the Microsoft Store on your own account. This is important as the license key we've just copied can only be used once and will be paired with the account you've been signed into. Click in the top right hand corner on your profile. Please log in first if you are not logged in yet or create an account if you don't have a Microsoft account yet. Please remember your credentials at all times. Flight Simulator is only available in this account. Now. Click on redeem code or gift cards to redeem your code. Paste the 25 character code in this field. Please double check your code if you are entering it manually. Click next to see if your code is accepted and click confirm to confirm the redeem process within the Microsoft Store. In most cases you will be forwarded to the Flight Simulator product page in the Microsoft Store where the download has already been started. If not, please head over to your library to manually start the download of the Flight Simulator app. In this case, you notice that our download has started automatically. Now that the app setup is being finished, Digital Ownership and Microsoft Flight Simulator Edition will be installed as well. The next step is installing the Xbox app. We do get many questions about this, as people associate Xbox with a game console. This is partially true. Microsoft has released game consoles with Xbox in the product title, such as Xbox One and Xbox Series S, but Xbox is actually the gaming division of Microsoft. Your game data such as your online name, or Gamertag as it is called within the app, is stored within the Xbox app. This is visible to others when flying online. The Xbox app is not installed by default. When it hasn't been installed for any other application you have to install it manually. You can either do this by clicking the install button as shown, or by searching it in the store via the search bar on the top of the screen. If you start the Xbox app for the first time, you will see a screen allowing you to create an account. We advise you to use the same account as used for the installation of Flight Simulator. Select Sign In to log in if you already have an account and are not logged in yet. On your screen you will see a pop-up, but as in this video they are not visible. We expect that this has something to do with security measures. After logging in, you click on Flight Simulator. If you click the big green button, the game starts. You can also start the game directly from the Microsoft Store. Starting Microsoft Flight Simulator always takes some time, especially when you start Flight Simulator for the first time. All aircraft and airports still need to be downloaded. After you've downloaded 120 gigabytes of data, it's time to explore the world. Have fun!